I was actually not going to be making a video covering this because I'm not playing The Last of Us on PC, at least not right away. My computer can't handle it. And because I didn't want to really add to the dog pile of criticism for Naughty Dog that they have already been getting. And Naughty Dog already has a lot of haters that hate just to hate. So sometimes I just want to go easy on them to keep the balance. But it also would be really weird for me to ignore this issue on my very Naughty Dog centric channel. And there are some things that have really been bothering me that I need to talk about, such as my fears about how this problem actually could extend to beyond just this PC port. So let's talk about it. Dr. Poop Love here, and today I wanna to talk about The Last of Us Part 1 PC issues and why it really matters. Let's get right into it. So if you don't know, The Last of Us Part 1 Remake released for PC on March 28th, and it has been a buggy mess. There are a lot of graphical issues, stuttering and crashes, and overall just a lot of weird glitches. And then of course, there is low res Joel who looks like he got into a fight with a lawnmower. The game mostly has negative reviews on Steam, with plenty of issues being identified, and it's just not a great look. Now, to be fair, I think some of this is perhaps due to individual users own PC settings, potentially even trying to play this game on a PC that doesn't match the minimum specs, and also starting this game before downloading your shaders. Whatever shaders are seems to also be creating a lot of issues that go away when the shaders are loaded. But overall though, the game isn't optimized, and to be honest, it should have never been released in this state. In fact, I think Naughty Dog and Sony should have just delayed this port until it was ready. Now, they did actually delay this port, technically because it was originally due to be released in the beginning of March, but then they ended up delaying it until the end. But they clearly didn't delay it enough, and it's pretty clear why. They wanted this fresh new PC port to be out close enough to the finale of The Last of Us TV show on HBO so they can ride that hype wave. So they probably just rushed this out the door to make that happen, even though it wasn't totally ready. And to me, this is just a classic case of trying to fly too close to the sun. Now, for context, this synergy hype wave strategy, whatever you want to call it, basically emulated from what I call the Witcher strategy. When the Witcher TV show came out on Netflix, CD Projekt Red saw a huge bump in Witcher 3 game sales, a game that had been out for a few years. Now, Sony and Naughty Dog wanted to try this approach with their HBO show, but have a fully priced game out instead so that they could make even more money. And the approach was working as game sales on PlayStation for The Last of Us Part 1, The Last of Us Part 2, and even The Last of Us Remastered all spiked during the run of the show. But when the PC port clearly wasn't ready to ride this wave as well, they decided to put it out anyways. And this is just so disappointing. They already got a massive spike in sales and double dips, but it seems that wasn't enough to do the right thing here and delay the game, even if that meant that the hype wave had dissipated. And this really continues to piss me off for a couple of reasons. One, I don't like the way this was marketed at all. So many calls for pre-purchases in the marketing plans, but then on the day of release, nobody in the industry that reviews games had received a review code in time to give customers a proper review. Now this to me is completely unacceptable. This is Naughty Dog. They make the best games ever with the utmost quality. And so the games should sell themselves on that merit alone. Why does Sony feel the need to try to pull a fast one on customers by clouding the fact that reviews were going to be bad? Are you guys that strapped for cash? Now for reference, I saw reviews for Uncharted Legacy PC port that came out one day prior to release on PC. So that's not a ton of lead time, but when you don't give review codes out till the day themselves, that means that reviewers have to actually play the game. So that means their reviews can't realistically come out until a few days later, unless they're just going to no life the game or put something out before it's fully played. And it's just shady behavior that Naughty Dog doesn't need to be involved with because again, they are the best in the business. And these games are good enough to sell themselves for what it is. If they were worried that 
digital foundry was going to rip them a new one, then why put the game out? Why do that to your brand? To me, it just is, like I said, trying to fly too close to the sun. Now, I don't wanna put this all on Naughty Dog because if you recall, they didn't even really want to do The Last of Us remake. They had to take it over from the visual arts service group. And the PC port was done by Iron Galaxy, who apparently has a pretty bad track record. But Naughty Dog did claim a lot of credit for this port. So some blame does lie with them. But also a lot of blame lies with Sony, who likely spearheaded the charge to get this out so quickly and is most likely the responsible party for this shady review code behavior. And I do have issues with the way Sony has been handling things lately. With every game release, they seem to be making moves to try to frisk all their customers for whatever loose change they have. Yeah, they gotta make money, but can't they do that by simply having the best products and value and not do these things that feel like they're tricks and ultimately are hurting the brand of their most beloved studios. But this also bothers me because this kerfluffle has seemingly shot down the momentum and hype wave that Naughty Dog and Sony were trying to ride. And now the conversation about how good The Last of Us TV show was has quickly turned into how bad The Last of Us PC port is. And the phrase, you are only as good as your last performance comes to mind. But what makes me really mad is what is next and what might get affected by this muting of the hype wave. That's right, factions too. Now us multiplayer fans really don't need this right now. We really needed this hype wave to help that game be successful. And while it still may be, this certainly doesn't seem to be helping. Whether it's justified or not, people are gonna be skeptical about Faction 2's release and perhaps not be so high on The Last of Us as a property when it ultimately does come out. Because now, what reason do you have to trust that it's going to come out in a good state? And of course, Factions 2 is probably coming to PC. During the release of the PC port, Naughty Dog put out a post that they have plans to bring more experiences to PC and are very committed to making their games cross-platform in this way. And this makes it even more likely to expect Factions 2 to come to PC. And I know that porting a game is different than building a game for PC, but the skepticism from fans will still be there. So yeah, I went pretty hard on all this. It's because I love Naughty Dog so much. Their games mean the world to me. And I know that they have some of the best, most dedicated and passionate devs out there. And these kind of moves, largely under Sony leadership, are hurting their brand and potentially even hurting the chances of the game that I want the most and the game that I've been waiting for, which is Factions 2. But at least Naughty Dog is taking a lot of the right steps and making some quick responses to this issue. They already have hotfix and patches on the way trying to catalog all the issues and my hope is that all these issues get fixed quickly and that hopefully some of that momentum can be restored and overall this may end up being a good thing because this can serve as kind of a lesson to not put factions 2 out in a state where it's not ready just for the sake of trying to get the timing right naughty dog needs to make sure things are right first and hey maybe better yet give us a beta so that players can help you identify bugs ahead of the full release. And while we wait for Naughty Dog's next game and next move, here's a video going over the latest updates that we have for Factions 2. You should check it out, but otherwise, so long Pooper Troopers.